Hello, everyone. By chance, have you ever felt annoyed or irritated, powerless, or challenged to prove your power, hurt or angry, or discouraged or helpless? Do you know others who have experienced these emotions? And have you ever wondered why we feel these emotions or how to deal with those who express these emotions? Today, I want to introduce you to Rudolf Dreikers and his theory about why we and others may feel particular emotions which then cause us to act in negative ways. Dreikers was a child psychiatrist and educator who lived from 1897 to 1972. He believed that we are motivated by our need to belong and our desire to find our place in the social world. Succinctly stated in Wikipedia, Dreiker suggested that human misbehavior is the result of feeling a lack of belonging to one social group. When this happens, we act from one of four mistaken goals, undue attention, power, revenge, or avoidance, inadequacy. He believed that if students felt like valuable contributors in the classroom, then they would learn to cooperate reasonably without being penalized or rewarded. What is unique about his theory is that he believed that we could tell the purpose of someone's words or actions by the way that we feel during that interaction. This is a powerful thought and a potentially powerful tool as we evaluate how we feel as we interact with others. Let's look at these four particular areas of emotions identified by Dreikers. First, think about a time you felt irritated or annoyed, or you irritated or annoyed another. Dreiker says that the purpose behind this behavior is to get attention. Since one of our most basic and fundamental needs is to belong, to feel connected with others, and to feel valued, we seek attention, even negative attention, by being annoying or irritating. So the next time you feel irritated or annoyed, or are being irritating and annoying, ask yourself, hmm, does someone need attention? Second, think about a time you or someone you knew felt powerless or challenged to prove their power. Dreiker says that the purpose behind this behavior is to gain power or control. He mentions that one of our basic needs is to feel that we can influence or control our environment. We want to get what we want, well, at least some of the time. And when we don't get what we want, we can become rebellious or defiant. So the next time you or someone you know rebels or acts defiantly, ask yourself, does someone need to feel in control? Third, think about a time you or someone you knew felt hurt or angry. Dreiker says that the purpose behind this behavior is revenge. He believes that we try to protect ourselves when we think we are being attacked or threatened. When we feel victimized and our feelings are hurt, we may seek revenge to make the other person feel as bad as we do. So the next time you or someone you know seems hurt or angry, ask yourself, does someone want revenge? Fourth and last, think about a time you or someone you knew felt discouraged, helpless, or sorry for a particular individual. Dreiker says that we feel this way because we are avoiding a responsibility or a task. Since we do not feel 
adequate or we don't want to look bad, we don't even try. In fact, we often withdraw from overwhelming situations to avoid feeling worse about ourselves. So the next time you or someone you know feels discouraged, helpless, or sorry for the person involved, ask yourself, does someone need to feel supported? Does this person feel overwhelmed by the required task? In summary, Dreikers believes that we are motivated by our feeling to belong and our desire to find our social place in the world. He theorizes that we may, one, annoy and irritate to get attention, two, defy or rebel to gain control, three, seek revenge to make others feel as bad as we do, or four, avoid assigned tasks or withdraw to avoid looking bad or feeling inadequate. He goes on to say that these actions often cause others to feel, one, annoyed and irritated, two, powerless, three, hurt or angry, or four, discouraged, helpless, or feeling sorry for someone else. Now that you have learned about his theory, you can now more easily identify your root causes for the emotions you are experiencing, and you can respond in positive ways. Thank you.